Yes, we're looking forward to the eclipse next week, next Saturday. Now, some uh, people, when they dress up in suits, they may have a pocket square, but astronomers, we always have eclipse glasses in our pocket <laughs> ready to go. So let's talk about that eclipse that's coming up. Uh, a week from tomorrow, on Saturday, October 14th, is the next annular eclipse. So it's a solar eclipse, and it's something that we'll be able to see here into our area. Now, for the country, the path of the annular eclipse, or the spot where the majority of the sun will be covered, where the ring of fire will be visible, that's towards Texas and to the western states. So we're not in that category. We're in the zone where we see about 30% of the eclipse happening. Now remember, the sun is bright, so you got to wear your eclipse glasses because you cannot look at the sun directly unless you have a pair of these or something that is suitable for that. Now. Obviously, we have the sun here. The path of the annular eclipse, the sun will look like that. It'll be a ring of fire. It's an awesome sight. We're not going to have that. We're going to see an eclipse that's about 30% covered. So when you use the eclipse glasses, it'll look something similar to this. Now, if you want to see the eclipse and you don't have glasses, I suggest going to these three locations. We have the Chesapeake Planetarium, the Vir Virginia Beach Boardwalk near the Surf Museum, and then also the Newport News Library, the Back Bay Amateur Astronomy Club, will be at all three of these events, and these glasses will be available. These are the ones from NASA for a dollar each, so they're cheap, and then you can look at the sun safely with these glasses. Remember, sunglasses don't work to see the eclipse. Now, for our area again, the eclipse begins at 12.02 p.m. The maximum eclipse when 30% of the uh, sun is covered is at 1.23 p.m., the eclipse will end at 2.45. I brought my telescope out here, too, because there's going to be telescopes set up. And yes, telescopes, if you can see right on the end, I'll bring it close to the camera. See right there? There's a solar filter on that, so we can use that as well. Anyway, that's all about the eclipse. We'll have more on that as the week goes along. Back to you, Tom.